My name is Nasa. I'm a third year medical student from the University of Newcastle from Australia. And my name is Will. I'm a, at the end of my third year of medicine at the University of New England in Australia as well. So when we were looking for where we could do our medical elective, Cambodia was a country that appealed to us because of the culture, because it's not somewhere that we'd been before, um, but also because we were aware of the disparity of the standard of healthcare within the country and also it's a very different healthcare system to our own and it's something they were interested in learning more about. We participated in the medical elective in Cambodia and we were enabled to follow around doctors and choose which wards we wanted to be in and have lots of interaction with the doctors, see patients, learn more and collaborate and understand a different health system and share our experiences as well as learn a lot about that. In regards to the future volunteers, something that you should definitely be aware of is making the most out of all your opportunities. All of the doctors are very knowledgeable, but they can't answer the questions unless you ask them in the first place. Um, we particularly like the surgery department a lot because the doctors were well travelled and very experienced, as well as that being one of our interests. It's important to consider that as a medical student you're not going to be cutting and opening and doing a lot. You're here to learn and there's lots of opportunity for that. It's very exciting. You see so many different rare cases that you may have never been exposed to before. And yeah, as you said, just ask questions, be enthusiastic and the doctors will just be really responding and love to teach. So our experiences here, we've had a We've had so much fun. We've been lucky to come here during a period of time where there's been some national holidays. We were here for the Water Festival holiday and also the Independence Day and that was very interesting. Water Festival is an annual festival where lots of local people come to Phnom Penh and we got to see an event that was you know, lots of local people instead of tourists so that was really interesting. We also did lots more travelling on the weekends where we could, um, we went to Siem Reap which was beautiful, uh, Kampot and Mondulkiri which is the forest on the east of Cambodia and they have elephant projects there and you got to hang around with elephants and that was lots of fun. The, the Cambodia as a country, the landscape is just beautiful, it's so different, it's exotic and the food. The food, food is, is fantastic. Delicious. We love the food. Kampa, the crab is amazing. <laughs> we had the best amok yeah. crab ever. It was so good. We also, what we really enjoyed from those experiences was talking to the local tour guides, um, you know, asking them questions about the health system, what they can access within the local areas, and that gave us a much better picture of the overall country's health system, which is something we're interested in. So. In Phnom Penh, how many people have to travel from provinces to access surgery? Um, that was very interesting. We also focused, our project was the, we did a bit of research about motorcycle accidents. Cambodia's motorcycle accidents are still very high compared to other countries around the world, same as Vietnam, also very high. So we looked into the new legislations that Cambodia has from 2009, I think it was. They put law for wearing helmets. Um, so one thing that we did notice, especially through the hospitals, was that a lot of work is being done to improve the quality of their healthcare. Um, a lot of their more advanced techniques are through the bigger cities, and that in the hospitals in the provinces, they don't often have the same level of care, which is why they do come to the large hospitals. And this means that a lot of the time they do travel a long way to get to healthcare. And financially, that can be very difficult for them. So it was very interesting seeing it um, in person and seeing the hygiene, which was a bit um, lower in some of the smaller villages. Um, and we loved our, the house we stayed in during this project. It was very welcoming, easy. We had our food prepared every day, which was really useful, so we didn't have to think about that. And other volunteers always very, very There's lots of other volunteers and everyone's from different places in the world. So that's that's another part of how what's great about this project is you get, get to, get to meet trips with them on the people weekends. from like Europe, Spain, um, It's always nice coming Spain. home after work.